Hey guys, so this is going to be like a video in a video. Uh, I took a video with my phone yesterday. Uh, and uh, I'll talk about that in a shortly, but here's a little uh, going back in time. So this was that uh, uh, assemblage dial I uh, showed you before. Just a nice picture of it uh, with uh, Lex Luthor, the 3.75 figure. Looking at the uh, energy ball here in the middle. I did that one for Deviant Art. Next we have uh, that little tree, chestnut. Uh, I don't know if it's going to survive. I replanted it. I showed you uh, how I put it in the dry creek bed uh, living diar moss diorama in the backyard. Uh, this is cool. So my wife had this croquet ball, and she goes, what would it be like if we put it in a fire pit? So that, right here, that, that's a croquet ball right there. There's a cursor, yeah. It almost looks like some kind of creepy moon. So we watched it uh, slowly burn, burn down to little pieces of charcoal. So here, remember I told you I got that stuff from, the, from a dump job? So here's the uh, church right here. Um, over on this side is their driveway. Now normally what they do is they dump down the road here this way because there's a dip right here so it's a hill and a hill so there's a secluded area and they dump there. This is literally right <laughs> below the sign uh, they pulled over and this is half the stuff that was there including a bunch of leaking paint cans and things like that. Um, that's after I filled the whole back of my eight bed, eight foot bed uh, Dodge Dakota with stuff that I thought I could either recycle or use. And this thing had big uh, broken tempered glass in it. Yeah, so that's that's sad. I don't know what it is. We're supposed to be so eco conscious and green in Seattle. You never know by the ignorance of people. So here's the. Uh, Rick Grimes, seven-inch figure. Uh, I posed him on the dashboard of my wife's new Subaru Ascent, and that's uh, here's another shot. I was in a Safeway uh, grocery store parking lot waiting for her to come back, and um, that leads me to the video of the video. So uh, I'm gonna. Uh, Start it up and I'm gonna stop it and make some comments. So this is the weird encounter. So uh, My wife had picked me up at the uh, local comic book shop the comic den which is gonna close this month and 50% uh, off everything and of course free comic book day So I showed up for support and give them a, a few of my hard-earned hard dollars uh, as he's going to re retire, semi-retire, basically, not have a retail store anymore. So, good luck to you, Howard. 17-year uh, relationship with me since I moved to Seattle. Anyway, uh, so here's here's the video and the strange encounter. I'm just chilling here after going to Free Comic Book Day. Got Rick as the... Uh, Now watch, see this guy here? He's walking. So now I show the box of loot. Now he's walking over here, watch. He thinks I'm pointing the camera at him. I'm gonna try to block out his face when he shows up. Here he is. Yes, I'm, I'm doing a video. Okay, right yeah. Oh, it's like weird. I'm like, man, this guy's watching. No, no, I'm doing yeah. a video. All right. Yeah. Doing that, man. Careful. I'm in my car, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's strange, dude. <laughs> I'm in my car, not pointing my camera at him, and he's questioning what I'm doing. Yeah, so I don't think he saw me initially when when he was walking across here 
but I think when I went over to the box, uh, he thought I, that's when I was filming him. But he comes up to the car, you know, and interrupts, <laughs> as you can tell, and I'm going, why would you come up to some stranger's car and interrupt him as he's clearly talking about uh, a sandwich recipe, which obviously wouldn't have anything to do with filming you. That kind of aggressive behavior can get people popped, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, here's how it played out. And... We... Yeah, very odd. I don't know, I'm a great YouTube uh, experience. So, uh, yeah, I'm pointing it at an action figure. And I don't think he was in the front. Of well, he was. But, Twice. Uh, yeah, the Noun and Curry guy. Yeah, he had a shirt that said Non and Curry, which is actually a place across the street here from Safeway. So anyway, um, so I got this uh, Rick Grimes. I'm going to show you these in detail shortly. I must have show you now. I got this. Uh, I have the other set like this. Sam and Twitch from Spawn. They're uh, detectives. You can see a detective uh, dial coming. I love detective dials. There she is. Look at little Ant-Man. I want to show you that diorama. It's awesome too. The base. Yeah. Got about 120 bucks worth of stuff for 60. Batman. So I took all these out of the package. I'm going to show you shortly here. I just want to let this play out for you because uh, I'm so freaked out by how that guy came up on my car. I can't get over it. Justice League. Kids, yeah, kind of kids Justice League. That's very odd. I thought he was going to ask me about the car because it's a new car, you know. Strange. I can't get over it. I'm flabbergasted. Very strange. So, yeah, I don't know what the rules are on YouTube for... Well, I tried to... I tried to reverse thumbnail him by putting my thumb over his face because I'm not sophisticated to how to blur him out and all that. I don't want to go through all that effort. Yeah, I'm just freaked anyway, out. Um, people have problems with people coming up on... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you brought the wrong car. The guy got to pull a piece out of you or something. Anyway, just when you think all the weirdness... Oh, give it. Get it. SK file, you know better than that. Really? Wow. This might happen. Rick might pull his piece on you. His peacekeeper. Yeah. Okay, so let me let me show you now uh, the uh, stuff. Kind of an unboxing. Yeah, I've been up since uh, 1 30 in the morning. I slept for a while. Man, my back's bothering me again. I did too much yard work yesterday. So, uh, ooh, they gave me a box. I bought so much stuff. Fragile. Must be Italian. Might be a major award in here. What's. Comic shops? Uh, okay. So here's that uh, awesome Black Widow, and uh, this comes with a little Ant-Man, and the diorama piece I already pulled out, um, check that out, look at the detail, the little, the, the uh, spent brass shells, the paint app on the... Uh, wires and tubes that is awesome I, I'd like to make a larger diorama but feature this cool I was real happy with that 
And like I said, this it was this was like twenty four ninety nine regularly, so I got it like twelve fifty. It's a great price. And here's that uh, salmon twitch from Spawn. These guys are detectives. Come with some awesome accessories. And uh, I can see it. Old detective office. And, oh, th this was from the uh, the Mad Hatter. I already uh, cut it, but this will make a great uh, body for a a shuttle. And since it's clear, you could put a another windshield on the front here when you paint the rest of it, mask it out, light it up. Who cool? Where's the bottom of it? Okay, so I said I took everything out. There's the bath piece for that. So here's the, the Justice League Batman. He's, uh, I didn't really like the goggles, but it's a pretty cool figure. It's got a cloth cape. Some of the accessories got closed fists, so that's a little limiting. And uh, her Sharon Carter talk about being geared up. She got dual handguns, and then this thing. So I'm not sure what that is. You Marvel guys probably can tell me what kind of weapon that is. Oh, that curse is pretty cool. Well, I'm always looking for a civilian head to make a a rose figure from Rose and Thorn. She might work, although. I had to modify to take the ponytail off. I, I, I'm so scared of sculpting. That's one thing I've never really done. But, uh, I have uh, former uh, Facebook uh, dial structure uh, friend Judy from uh, Dark Dial Studio. She's done some awesome sculpting for me. Um, but that's not in my skill set at this point. So this is a creepy little uh, Mad Hatter with his hat from uh, Arkham City video game. Look at his hands are it's so weird, creepy. And here's here's the famous Rick that was on the Subaru dashboard with his gun. Um, I I fooled around with his hand. You can get his finger in the trigger, but it doesn't quite work. Maybe I have to heat it up a little. It's not really great articulation on this, but then this came with the Batman figure. It's uh, again a collect and connect. Well, I can't remember the bad guy's name. Steppenwolf was it? Is that who that is? Steppenwolf, yeah, here's it. So, yeah. Look at all the figures you gotta buy to get the whole thing. I don't know how many people were into that, but probably use this as a custom. So, here's the Rick Grimes uh, base. This is the. This is Sharon Carter. So that's, uh, that's it, that's just the background from uh, Rick. And then I got, uh, I save all the literature. And then I had to get this uh, variant cover, Harley Quinn, because I love the way Salito looks. Um, then, the, this is a free comic book, uh, Dear Justice League, it's a series, it's, it's really cute for kids, um, and then the other one was, oh, I put it in the back, Under the Moon, to give you the beginning of it, um, I'm not sure where DC is going with this, because I read some online reviews, even though I pre-ordered this, before I really <laughs> knew what everything in it but it's got some really mature themes uh, no parent should just hand this to their teenager or preteen without 
surveying it first for appropriateness. Yeah, so that's it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably hit the sack and get a little more sleep because I gotta go to Victoria today since it's already today. But uh, for this haul uh, at the local comic book store that's closing, and for Howard, the owner of what used to be Comic Den, then it became Comic Hut. Uh, I wish them all the best. I'm going to have to be going to a, another comic book store. And that will be another adventure, probably another uh, video. So, for Black Widow, I'm out.